NFL football has come to Southern Nevada as we are in the menacing new Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the New England Patriots and the Las Vegas Raiders. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Now Jones. He completes it to Henry. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. First down carry for Harris. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. <laughs> Throwing Jones. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So first and ten now from the 30. They hand this off to Harris. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Here's Harris. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. And Fultz's kick is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. 
that has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. The Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback, and that's Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years, and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. On first and ten, here's Carr. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. First carry for Josh Jacobs. No, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And he's corralled, but not getting it inside the 35. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Kyle Van Noy, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. After the sack on first down, Carr. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And the Patriots have it. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but... I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the fumble recovery, Jones. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. In trouble, and he's taken down. Denzel Perryman in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Now, on third and long, they'll look to throw. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Jonathan Abram picks it, and this will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long, got to push it downfield to try to pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Here's Carr to throw. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Here's Jacobs. 
Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. One more time with Jacobs, and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Two straight shots on the ground, now on third do you go to the air. I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the Patriots get the football back. So he needed the short yard as Charles, he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third, unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Here's Jones on first and 10. Out right to Bourne. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Casey Hayward. And the Raiders are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that will loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Throwing his car on third down. And that's caught. It's Brian Edwards. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Stidham, his first throw. That swung out wide to Harris. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 57 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. And 
First down, and they go back to Harris. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They run with Harris. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3 4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, are usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers. There's usually five up. Stidham hit and he lost it. And the Raiders pick it up. And his guys are going to take over at the 34 yard line. And so the last three drives, you've got two interceptions and a fumble. I think we know why they're losing right now. Without question, and we've seen the evidence, just what you talked about there. If they take care of the football, number one, maybe they're not having this deficit. And number two, maybe they actually have the lead. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Stidham on first down. He's going to look downfield for Henry. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Here's Stidham to throw. He's got it to James White. White's got a first down and more. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard. Again, Stidham. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Well, they needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. 70 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. They'll throw on first down with Stidham. And right side, Henry's got it. Seven yards, the pick up there. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now a 
second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. This is Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Or they're down only one score, still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And the hands team for the Raiders able to secure it. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. Pass the 20. Oh! And he takes this one back to the end zone and the Patriot defense has a touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you and understandably <laughs> your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead and now they gave it up. Full connects on the extra point, and it's now 17-14. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half as they take over with exactly one minute to go here before intermission. Meanwhile, Carr's throw taken in by Edwards. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now Carr. The open man here, Renfro. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Carr now on first down. He'll swing this one out to Richard. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. Looking downfield for Jones. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says this. I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now, Carr again. He'll find Richard here underneath. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This will be from 49 yards out. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will do it for this first half. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone. To all right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. And ready to get the party 
started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. The car is slow, complete here to Waller. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And now Waller going to have a chance to run this. Room to run past midfield. They find some open field here. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. David Waller, 64 yards. And the Raiders come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And what could he possibly be thinking? He just took the fair catch at the one-yard line. Major mistake. And marching back out there now, the Raiders defense gets ready. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. They'll run. Here's Harris. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. 102 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. On second down, this is Harris. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little. Well, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And the Raiders pick it up. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's... When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. And a five yard. Stidham sets to throw on first. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look to throw is Stidham. First down and much more for Henry. And brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. 
So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Stidham will throw again. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. This is Harris. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. A field goal gets him the lead, but they'll risk it here on fourth and goal. Fourth down. Here's Stidham. Complete. It's Henry. And he's got this down to the 35. We always hear about guys wanting to make plays that quiet a crowd. Yeah. After that one. Here in the third quarter, they were hoping to get the stop, get the football back. Not the case. What a completion on a fourth down play. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. Five yards remain on second down. Off the play fake. Here's Stidham. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. On third down, here's Harris. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Now a man who played at Centennial High here in Las Vegas, Ramondre Stevenson. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On second down now, it's Harris. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 131 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the 8. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. On second down, it's Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, his second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots are back within a score. On for the extra point is Folk. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. First and ten, it's Stidham. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this one too low. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Stidham. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. 
An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side, and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? And he's going to get this inside the 30. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. They'll run on first down. It's Harris, and down inside the 15 he goes. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A give to Harris. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Harris will take this one in. Touchdown, Patriots. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. And he will bowl his way in there for the two points. Nothing fancy there on that two-point try. Give it to the big boy, let him go to work. That almost felt like Sandlot football that we used to play, didn't it? Biggest guy on your team who can carry the ball, hand it to him and let him rumble. Nobody picked me on the Sandlot football <laughs> team. You were quarterback, and I know better. I was the water boy. <laughs> and now here come the Raiders. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score, but bottom line, they are still on top with the football. And a touchdown on this drive would really put them in position A. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Carr. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. I know it was a gain. But you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little... And he goes down! It's a Patriot sack! Christian Barmore with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. And they'll start the drive here with an end around. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Yannick Ngakwe in on the stop. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation. Get him looking to escape, but he'll go down. They got him. 
Solomon Thomas gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. So following the sack, Stidham and the Patriots now looking up at a third and long. And caught by Henry. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. First down and much more for Henry. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help them feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. He continues to have a big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Taking it in from two yards out. And once again, the Patriots are back out in front. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. So Derek Carr in the offense, down by five, just under two minutes to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Meanwhile, Carr's throw here into the hands of Jones. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Man open, here is Jones. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now Carr. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And down by five, they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Now Carr, got to have this one. Oh, that's into a sea of body. 
throws, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And the Patriots have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. This is Stevenson. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Throwing now is Stidham. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Second and 10. Here's Stidham. Complete. Hunter Henry with the grab. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 35. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Las Vegas.